keep doing the similar actions you will remain the same product but the product has to be changed if you have to change change your actions now are you ready to change your actions are you ready to change your present but most of us fail in your life why because we continue doing the same actions the same mistakes we keep repeating them and therefore the product will not change you will remain the same guys look at this how simple it is if you want to change your future change your actions now change your present as simple as that this is simple truth now why i am give you this demo interview because with my experience of ssb guys let me tell you can you believe 60% of the candidates just fail because they think interview is the most difficult part they become too nervous they become too anxious they become too tense they are not able to think properly look at this i don't want to tell you those stories guys there have been cases where a guy once entered in my office he went blank i don't want to give you there are hundreds of examples here in interview i want to take out this fear from my candidates guys that is my aim once you see this demo and once you are interviewed by my experts this fear of the interview will just vanish from you and you will do far better and why the hell candidates get so scared i don't understand so right on the very first day this fear of interview should get out of your mind and you will perform very well so guys now the interview is going to take place it's a simple thing i am going to follow the ssb method and why this demo interview why do we do demo interview in ssb show short academy guys there is a purpose behind this i told you to get the fear out of you and you see you become a assessor yourself you are a judge today you are assessing this guy you are also giving him marks guys so look at this, this is such an open thing you will know your performance in the ssb and you will know which mistakes not to do what good things you should pick up and why candidates generally fail will understand you will be able to comprehend that is that understood You can now get a free SSB course under the guidance of Major General Bhakuni at SSB Short Short Academy if you attend any of our written courses for NDA, CDS or FCAT. Attend 4 to 5 lectures daily and prepare with study material, mentor support, weekly feedback, mock tests and guidance by officers in our lush green 28 acre military campus. Call us now on 725-930-7111 for queries and registrations. Now let's get back to the video. Shall we start? Good morning. Amitesh, how are you? Good sir. Thank you sir. What is the meaning of Amitesh? Sir, my name is after Shiv Bhagwan. My mother is a, a good a, a devotee of Shiv. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So you still didn't tell me the meaning of Amitesh. Sir, I don't know. <laughs> you don't Sorry. know. So I could make out you don't know. Yes, sir. So Amit and Ish. What is the meaning of Amit? No idea, sir. you must find out your name's yes, meaning okay now tell me my dear amitesh tell me why do you want to join the navy sir i want to join armed forces navy because uh, the uniform the uniform gives the sense of responsibility towards the nation you are giving and hard working and the respect the respect which we get from the uh, armed forces or navy it will not be compared to any uh, stream sir So you have given two points. Both are applicable equally to the Air Force as well as to the Army. Why Navy particularly? The answer is not yet come. 
because uh, I am selected for Navy Tech. So, um, and Navy is kind of so white uniform it gets. It's, it gives a proper obedience towards the character you're giving. Okay, tell me honestly. Yes, Suppose sir. you get through in all the three, Army, Air Force and Navy. Which one will you select and why? Sir, I w if I get through all the three, I'll select Air Force, sir. Because Air Fo in Air Force, it gives us, it gives, we, uh, we are having our own flight. We are having our own equipment over there. And it's a responsibility towards the mission. Because I was not finding your answer convincing about the Navy. That's the reason yes, I asked. Sir. Now tell me a simple question. Tell me two heroes of the Navy and two heroes of the Air Force and why you consider them your heroes. Yeah. Sir, Admiral S.M. Nanda uh, in Navy and Admiral Ramdas Katari are the heroes of Navy. And sir, in Air Force, I don't have much information about it. Sir, I will uh, check it. Sorry, sir. Okay, you want to join your force, you don't know anyone. Oh my God. The famous wing commander, now group captain Abhinandan, you never heard about it? Yes, sir. Don't you know about any award winner of the Air Force who got Paramvir Chakra? No, sir. Haven't, Sorry, sir. You haven't you heard about flying officer Nirmaljit Singh Sekhon? Uh, no, sir. Tell me Sorry, any sir. Navy award winner, which is the highest award given in the Navy uh, to a Navy officer. To Navy officer? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know about it. Haven't you heard of, of INS Kukri? No, sir. Sorry, sir. You have never heard of Captain Mahendra Nath Mulla in 1971 who got the <laughs> Mahavir Chakra? Okay, tell me a simple question. Tell me how many commands the Air Force has, where are they located, and how many commands the Navy has, where are they located? In Navy, there are three commands, Western Command in Mumbai, Eastern Command in Vishakhapatnam, and Southern Command in Kochi. And sir, so of Air Force, I don't know exactly where, what are the commands. Sorry, sir, I'll check it. And you better check up such yes, sir. simple questions. Okay, tell me, since you are joining Navy, what is the difference between a frigate and a destroyer? And tell me also the rank structure of the Navy from highest to lowest. Sir, I don't know about the uh, difference between frigate and destroyer, but the rankings are fleet, fleet of the uh, admiral of the fleet, admiral, vice admiral, rad admiral, admiral, commodore. Uh, pi uh, captain, uh, commander, uh, lieutenant commander, lieutenant, sub-lieutenant, sir. Okay. Tell me what is the equivalent rank of commander in the Air Force and in the Army? Sir, in Army, Major and sir, in Air Force, it's squadron leader. Both wrong. Sorry, sir. Both wrong. Commander is equivalent to Lieutenant Colonel in the Army and Wing Commander in the Air Force. So, you are sure about the rank structure? Sir, I am sure about the Navy rank structure from top to below. Okay, okay. Now, tell me, how do you compare the Indian Navy with the Chinese Navy? At least tell me two major differences. So, the major differences are uh, China is more innovative and more technological advanced uh, uh, other than, in, uh, than India. And so main difference, uh, they have more, uh, more advanced ships and frigates. India have lesser ships and frigates. Yes, sir. Name any three ships of China. Three ships. Sir, I don't know about it. Name at least ours and theirs. The largest ship, what is it called? The largest? Sorry, the sir. Largest ship of Indian Navy and the Chinese Navy, what are they called? Uh, sir, aircraft carriers. Yes, aircraft carriers. Yes, sir. Which one we have and which one the China has? Sir, in India, INS Vikrant and INS Vikram Aditya. And sir, China, I don't, have, I don't know about it. Okay, tell me two differences between 
आयनस विक्रांत एंड आयनस विक्रमादित्य सर दे बोथ आर एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर्स एंड सो आई डोंट नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम ओके नाउ टेल मी अमितेश अबाउट योर एजुकेशनल जर्नी राइट फ्रॉम एट क्लास ऑनवर्ड्स हाउ हैव यू डन इन योर एकेडमिक्स एंड हाउ हैव यू डन इन योर sports and extra curricular activities tell me what was your favorite subject in 12 what are you planning to do after 12th and why in case you don't join the navy you have to do something yes, what sir. will you do and tell me how have you done in the competitive examinations in your ge or any other examination you appeared for tell me about your friends what kind of friends you like what kind of friends you don't like Tell me who was the most inspiring teacher in your life, and why do you like him? Yeah. So um, I have done schooling from Vasai, Saint Vidya Mandir. I have scored 92 percent in 10th bo boards, and I have done uh, 12th class from Shri Chaitanya Pune, and I have scored 88 percent. I have given uh, J W E mains exam, which I have scored in which I have scored 96.48 percentile. Uh, if I, I didn't get the chance to join the armed forces i'll uh, i'm i was i am i have been selected for nit goa i'm doing uh, i'll be doing that engineering right now and and sir i like friends which are adaptive in nature which have good sense of responsibility towards others and sir the most inspiring sir was my uh, physics sir because i was a um, little weak in physics so he told me how to do it and motivated me to uh, clear the examination of j mains uh, and sir i presume sir i have given all the answer to you sir my god you left more than half sorry sir you didn't tell me about your extra curricular activities sir in a, uh, sorry and sir and listen to me you didn't tell me about your favorite subject you don't you didn't tell me what you are planning to do after your graduation after your 12th okay. and why Okay. Yes, sir. So, tell me all this. Sir, my uh, favorite subject was maths uh, in twelfth, and sir, if I didn't get the chance to join armed forces, I'll be doing B Tech, and after B Tech, I'll be uh, I'll go for CDS, and if I didn't get the chance, I'll go for UPSC for IS IS, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, tell me a simple question. You play football. What is sudden death in football? So sudden death is a situation where the both have scored the same goal, uh, same score, and the one who scored early is uh, will be declared winner. No, your explanation is not at all correct. When it is happens in the game, so when the time is uh, about nine, ninety uh, minutes is done. After that, sir, penalty will be penalty shoot will be there. If it's if one scores more, then he will be the winner, sir. So where is sudden death then? So sudden death. Uh, sorry, sir. You are not very clear on the green. You have played. You have been a district player of football. Yes, Tell sir. me what is the height of the goal post, sir? Eight and foot. what is the width of the goal post, sir? Eight foot. And the width, uh, sir, is about. Fifteen uh, feet, sir. Without the goal post. You are wrong. At least tell me what is the distance of the penalty. Sir, penalty one hundred sixteen yards uh, long and seventy six uh, yards wide. Oh my God! What is my question here? Ah, uh, sir, penalty. Hmm. Three meter from goal post, sir. So. Sorry. Yes, sir. Are you sure it is three meter? Yes, sir. Three meter. From the goalpost. What is your height in meters? So one point seven seven eight meters. One point seven seven eight meters. See, it is less than your double. Yes, If sir. If you lie down along the goalpost and just to penalty show shot. Yes, sir. It's about three meters, sir. Just double than your height, less than that. No, sir. Double than my height. Is that the penalty distance? Yes, sir. You are absolutely wrong. At least use your common sense here. So penalty cannot be that close. Think about it. Okay. Yes, sir. So Sorry, sir. now tell me, what is your height? 
in meter or say, say in centimeter? You tell me in anything. 1.778 meters, sir. 778 meters. Why do you tell me in such a... <laughs> huh? Sir, because I googled it, it was about uh, I, 5 feet 10 inches. So it told me. Okay, tell me now, what is your height in centimeters? So 177.8 centimeter. 177.8 centimeters. And now tell me your height in kilometers. Uh, 0. Uh, 0.001778 kilometer. Tell me how many centimeters are there in a kilometer? Uh, sir, uh, So 10,000. I know you will be wrong because you are confused about the distance. It is 10,000 centimeters? Yes, sir. In a kilometer? How many me centimeters are in a meter? Sir, 1,000. Oh, sorry, 100, sir. 100. Yes, sir. And how many meters are in a kilometer? Uh, sir, 1,000. 1,000. 1,000 into 100 is how much? Yes, sir, 10,000. 100,000, sir. 100,000 is what? Sir, so 1 lakh. 1 lakh, not 10,000, no? No, sir. So why do you calculate in such a manner? I thought after calculating the fractions, you should be absolutely clear on your yes, height and weight. Tell me, if you are 176 centimeter? Yes, sir. 177.8 centimeter. Oh my God, 177. <laughs> Let's talk that you are 177 Centimeters. Centimeter, sir. If you are 177 centimeters, tell me what is your height in inches? So, inches. So, 5 foot, 12 inches. 5, 16. So, 68 inches, sir. How did you calculate that? Sir, so, because in 1 foot, it's, uh, because in 1 feet, it's 12 inches, sir. Hmm. So, 5 foot, 8, uh, 5 foot, 8 inches, hmm. so, 68 inches. Uh, 5 feet, 8 inches, uh, 68 in inches, sir. How many centimeters are in 1 inch? One inch, sir, thirty point four eight. Oh God! Oh God! How many centimeters are in one inch? Think. Okay, sorry, sir. Uh, one inch, two point five, sir. So what are you saying here? Sir, I'm a little bit of nervous, sir. Don't be nervous. Relax yes, and sir. feel at ease because if you tell me, I will will get stuck here only. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I am, by the way, testing your effective intelligence and reasoning ability by yes. asking these questions. In yes. that, now you have created doubt in my mind. Your effective intelligence and reasoning ability may not be that good. Sorry, in sir. In spite of your such high marks. Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me another simple question about your family. Okay. Sir. But still the doubt is lurking in my mind about your efficiency and those two qualities of factor one. I will... Reconfirm it. Tell me. Suppose in one minute, yes, sir. you run 170 meters. What will be your speed per hour? So 7.8 kilometer per hour, sir. Absolutely wrong. I don't know how you calculate. Don't get nervous. How yes, are you sir. calculating? In one minute, you are running 170 meters. Yes, sir. Are you sweating? Yes, sir. You want to use your hanky? You can use it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't worry, don't worry. You are winters. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't worry. You are a courageous guy. You are sitting in front of so many people. Think. In one minute, you are running. 170 meters. In 60 minutes, how much you have run? 170, 170 into 60. Yes, 17 into 6. How much is 17 into 6? 75. Sir, 102. 102. Now add two zeros of 60 and 170. Yes, sir. How much? Sir, 102 double zero. 10,200, 10, sir. Good. But what? 10,200 what? Kilometer per hour, sir. No, I knew you would no. say kilometer. Meter. Meter, yeah. sir. Sorry, so, sir. how many kilometers? Uh, sir, 102, 10.2. Yes, thank God. Yes. <laughs> so, you have come home now through the detour. Yes, okay. Sir. 
10.2 kilometers. It was such a simple question. Yeah, I feel like asking you a few more, but I will hold myself now. <laughs> anyway, now tell me about your family. Who all are in your family and what are they doing? What kind of relationship you have with them? Who's your role model and why? Tell me two qualities your father likes in you and two things which he wants you to improve upon. Also tell me what is one quality you appreciate in your father which you would like to adopt yourself, which you would like to take from him. And one thing which you want your father to improve upon. Yeah. So my fa family has four members, M mom, dad, uh, and my brother, and me, sir. Uh, my uh, father is working in uh, Central Railway, Mumbai. Uh, he is guard. And my mom is a homemaker. And my brother is doing B.Tech from Bharti Vidya Peet Pune. And so, and so uh, my, my relation with them is love and caring. Uh, caring. And so, caring relationship with them. And so, for qualities uh, which I'll adopt from my father will be, which he likes uh, about me is determination and hard responsibility towards my goals. And so, the uh, improvement he uh, wants to see in me is, um, I, he, I should be less aggressive and uh, nervous. Nervousness will be less. Uh, and so, the thing I don't like in my father is, um, he don't invest his money on himself, sir. And so he always gave us everything uh, we asked, sir. That's all. Okay. And who's your role model and why? So my role model is my mom because she takes all the responsibility of the family and she do all the work without any hesitation or any um, giving any complaint about it. Sir. So tell me honestly, who is the leader of your home? So leader for, of my home is my mom, sir. Mom. Okay. Yes, sir. So your father takes orders from her? Kind of, sir. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong in that. Yes, okay. Sir. The women are equally. Yes, sir. Or perhaps more in trials than the men. Yes, sir. Now tell me another simple question. Tell me what are your hobbies and pastime activities? Sir, I was... Tell the... me, listen to the question Sorry, first. Sir. Okay, and tell me how many books you have read and the best book you read and what two lessons you learned from that book. Yeah. So, so can you repeat that first question? Very simple. What are your hobbies? Sir, what yes, are sir. your pastime yes. activities? Tell me, you must have read some books. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how many and which was your favorite book? And what did you learn? Two lessons you learned from that book. Yeah. Yes, Relax, sir. yeah. Use your hanky. You are a good boy. You are doing so well. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Sir, my hobbies are playing football and gymming. So, I, uh, in my uh, school, I was the district footballer and I was the captain of my team. And so... Speak a little louder. Sir, I... Uh, in my, I was the district footballer uh, in my school, and I was the captain of my team. And so, I have not uh, gymming is my hobby, sir, uh, football and gymming. And so, um, I have not read that much book or novel, sir, because I was preparing for JWE mains. I was in Pune. Uh, I was in hostel, sir. So I didn't get the time to uh, read books, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. Okay. Now tell me a very simple question. Do you think, as you are doing a lot of gymming, do you think you are an overweight? Yes, sir. If yes, why you are overweight? Sir, uh, yes, sir, I'm overweight because uh, I was in hostel and so my hand got dislocated over that shoulder. So I was not allowed to do uh, gymming. Uh, I want, didn't want to. Doctor said no to the lifting weight, sir. So recently, I started gymming, sir. That's why, sir. I am over it. I'm uh, cutting the fat, sir. Now. Okay. Tell me, what are your three strengths and three weaknesses? Yeah. So my three strengths will be responsibility towards my work, determination, and sir, adaptive nature. And my weakness, sir, will be I have, I'm a bit of aggressive, short-tempered, and sir, imp impatient also, sir. 
Okay, impatient bird had written long back. In your, I wanted to ask this question, why are you impatient? Sir, I don't want to wait for something. I, I just want, if, if I want, I'll want. It's, it's like that, sir. I don't want to be, I okay, don't want to wait. Because of your impatience, you are short tempered. Tell me where, when and where did you have your last fight? With whom? Sir, last fight was in my college. Hmm. Uh, he argued that uh, he said bad word to my mother. Hmm. So I just slapped him hmm. and beat him. And so... What did you do? Beat him, sir. Slap. What he did, what he did in retaliation? Sir, he was, he was also fighting with me, sir. But um, uh, boys, was, boys were there, students were there. So they separated us. And then he, we were gone to the principal where he shouted to me, he, you don't have to do this to the student, you should have told me about this. So what was the final outcome? For final outcome was, uh, he, sir, I, I was shouted for it, sir. And sir, outcome, sir, didn't get to the conclusion, sir, he, I should have not done, he said. Okay, so you are it. in speaking terms? No, sir. Tell me, do you have a girlfriend? No, sir. Why do you think the girls avoid you? Sir, they don't avoid me. Sir, sir big, if I talk about relationship, the, I don't want casual relationship. Sir, if there is nothing in a long term, I don't want me, sir, in a relationship, sir. Okay, okay. Tell me, what was the best day of your life? What was the worst day of your life? So the best part of my life was when I saw my mother's tears when I got selected for JE Main, sir, on that day. And, sir, and second, sir, when I get a dog on my birthday, sir. And, sir, worst part was I didn't got selected for IIT, sir. I just missed it, missed it with five, for my, for five marks, sir. Okay. And, Tell me, what is your greatest ambition of life? What is your vision of life? In three lines, tell me this. So the vision in my um, the vision of my life is, sir, I want to join armed forces. Uh, if I'll be determined and focused towards my goals, and I'll achieve it. Okay. Anyway, you finish only two lines. Say one more line. So, uh, sir, if I didn't get the uh, name, no, sir. I'll I'll do I'll do the respon I'll take the responsibility about the consequences and I'll deal with it, sir. And mm -hmm. so I'll be anyway. Yes, sir. Tell me if I say, dear Amitesh, yes, sir. Describe yourself in four sentences. How will you describe? Sir, I am determined towards my goals. I took responsibility of my work. I am I am adaptive in nature. I have a good I'm a good learner I grasp more and so I'm a bit of aggressive short temper and impatient in some conditions and so I, I'm working on that so you finished two and a half sentences one and a half sentence more so if I think of doing something I'll achieve I'll achieve it and sir, so I'm bit, I'm bold and courageous and I'm a little bit of nervous, sir. Okay, why you get nervous? Sir, because I'm facing this much crowd and I'm, this is my first interview, so that's why I'm a little bit of nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Now tell me, who's your role model in life other than your family member and why? So my role model is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he's, uh, he is, he was born in 30 July 1947. He was the he was Mr. Universe in the age of 20, and he was Mr. Olympia for of for seven times. So I am I think him as a role model because so I feel he's a visionary. He he does if he thinks he can he will achieve it. So I think of myself as him. If I think I I thought like that I'll achieve it in a way that he achieves it, sir. Tell me, what is his wife's name? Um, 
uh, wife name sir sorry sir i don't know sir do you remember his wife no sir have you seen his wife no sir how can he be your role model if you do not know how many children he has five sir five yes sir okay are you sure how yes, many sir. daughters how many sons uh two daughters and three sons sir what was his marriage anniversary marriage anniversary marriage anniversary sir I don't remember sir sorry sir okay okay doesn't matter tell me a simple question what is i2 u2 i2 u2 is a sir india uh, its full form is india israel uh, U, uh, uk ua and usa it's a um, uh, program uh, uh, done by the four, four countries on health ma- uh, space uh, transportation and transportation uh, infrastructure development on in the nation sir tell me why the taiwan issue came into the limelight who's the prime minister of taiwan and why this whole thing started sir in the year 1945 and 49 sir world war 2 chinese civil war has also happened so in in that state china was separated and taiwan was separated from china and today china is imposing that it's his part it's a country's part and not a separate country and so i don't know the uh, prime minister name of taiwan sir who visited why this issue flared up who visited taiwan sir us uh, usa uh, a minister uh, has been visited taiwan and sir china was invading the country by uh, Uh, by his anyway, plane, sir. you better find out what is the name. Was she minister or was she minister? Was she, sir? My minister, sir. She was a minister. She was a minister, sir. Better check up who she was. When yes, did sir. she visit? Sir, recently about fifteenth uh, of Sept- September or something, sir. I don't remember the name, sir. Okay. Uh, date, sir. Okay. Tell me another simple question. What is international date line? international date line sir international date line so i don't know about it sir. what is the difference between article 370 and 35a so article 370 and 35a was in, uh, was working on shrinagar jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir sir 35a gives the response to the to its citizen to its uh, jammu and kashmir citizen about their residential residential ships so no one can buy it and so and 370 gives them the drafting uh, co- drafting their own constitution so this is the difference between them sir is it are you sure about it yes sir tell me the congress presidential elections are going on who are the candidates and who is going to win in your opinion uh so i don't know much about congress sir I don't know about pol- mo- mo- more politics, sir. Okay, tell me who is the BJP president? Uh, J.P. Nadda, sir. So you know, if you can know about the BJP, the Congress presidential election is the headlines. Presidential election is for sir uh, Rahul Gandhi, sir. They are making Rahul Gandhi as their president. What is this Indo-Nepal border problem? Indo-Nepal border is problem is sir. The Nepal has. Uh, made a map where it shows that india some part of india is in his country's part which is that part here where is the district which state so the state is himachal no, himachal pradesh and bihar some part of bihar sir both are wrong anyway tell me which is the closest planet from earth and which is the farthest planet from earth The closest planet is uh, Mars, and the farthest is Neptune. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Tell me which are the layers around us in the atmosphere. Name them from bottom to the highest layer, and also tell me in which layer the aeroplanes fly. Sir, so there are four layers: troposphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and I don't remember the fourth one, sir. And uh aeroplane flies in stratosphere sir hmm stratosphere are you sure yes sir okay 
you better know about these layers which are around us. In which layer is the ozone layer? So the farthest layer, the fourth one. So I don't what is ozone layer? Ozone layer, sir, which covers the, uh, which uh, don't allow the UV rays of sun to pass through it, sir, and protects the earth. Okay. And what is the greenhouse effect? Greenhouse effects, sir, mm, the one percent of ca greenhouse effects, sir, the carbon dioxide is the greenhouse gas, and one percent of gas argon, um, etc., and more, more gases, sir, which makes the earth warm and yes a warm sir anyway tell me do you believe in god yes sir which god you believe in shivji sir okay the lord shiv shiva comes to you yes sir and says amitesh i want to give you three qualities which three qualities you'll ask from god your time starts now sir sincerity hmm? uh, determine uh, determine towards my work knowledge so you were claiming all the time you are very determined and you are asking the God determination. But sir, all the time I can't be determined to at my work, sir. So and I always... do you think you are not sincere? Not all the time, sir. Okay. And yes, what is the third thing you ask? Third thing is uh, knowledge. Knowledge. So I may agree because knowledge has no end. Yes, sir. But the two qualities which you ask, you could have asked something else. To make you more confident, perhaps, so that you never get nervous. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, you are asking things which you are already having. Anyway, okay, Amitesh, I have asked you lots of questions. Anything you want to ask me? No, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. You must be taking a sigh of relief now. Hmm? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Happy? Yes, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Come. So, guys, this is the way the SSB interview will take place. I hope you guys have seen it, enjoyed it, and let me tell you the interview will be like this. Some of, some of you may be thinking, yaar, yaar. <laughs> and, but don't worry, I will make you brave. And let me tell you, this boy, it is not easy to face an interview in front of such a large crowd. Where is boy? He's vanished. Yes, sir. <laughs> and a big round of applause for him. <laughs> See, guys, let me tell you, the interviewing officer may put him little under pressure so that his real personality comes out. His real personality comes out. Can he function under pressure? Is he a leader, real leader? Real leaders are those who can control their nervousness. See this, okay? Who can ensure that they function in a fairly normal manner in spite of being under pressure. That is the aim. Why interviewing officer will sometimes put you under pressure. Even the GTO will do the same thing, particularly when you are doing the command task. He may anytime increase the degree of difficulty for you. So that the degree of difficulty be in, will be increased so that you tend to be tested while the things are not going as per you. Okay? We also have a great opportunity for students who are now going to 11th or 12th class next year. We have something called the foundation course in which students can join us in 11th class or the 12th class for the foundation course students, we have options of the CBSE board as well as the state board. And along with their school education, we also prepare them with evening classes for the NDA exam. Apart from that, they also get to live in a total army focused environment in a 28 acre lush green campus with proper military obstacles. And you'll also get the support and guidance from senior military officers and experienced educators. So if any of the parents are watching this video and if you feel interested in this particular course feel free to reach out to us if you live in Bangalore or anywhere close by you can also come over and visit our campus now guys coming to the serious point now look at this guy's performance I have taken his interview exactly the way I would have taken in the SSB I have given marks as per the SSB standard look 
in SSP, remember now, we give you ticks and marks. What do we give you? And ticks and marks are based on your performance in a particular PLOLQ. Uh, don't play with him, leave it. Leave it, just leave it. So we give you, as per your officer line qualities, we will give you ticks. Okay? Ticks and marks. So we give you generally ticks 5, ticks 6, ticks 7, ticks 8, ticks 9. Now you guys will not understand this ticks and marks business. So I will give him exactly in the similar lines four grades. The highest grade is called clear. Means he is clear in that officer life quality. Second grade is average. Means he has managed to pass but a lot of scope for improvement. The third grade is borderline. He has failed, but he's close to border. And the fourth grade is absolute fail. It is like in SSB 6, 7, 8, and 9 ticks. Something like that. His maximum of you will get. So now, see, firstly I will tell each officer like quality of this guy has been assessed by me. Now factor one, though he took quite a lot of time, in the factor one, effective intelligence he has managed to pass. Actually this guy, because you know we keep testing him, we have a process called check, recheck and counter check. Initially he didn't perform well, he was not able to answer the simple question, but later on some of the difficult questions also he answered. So in effective intelligence, he is average, managed to pass, but a lot of scope for improvement. Reasoning ability, he is average, though he is an outstanding student, but in these two qualities, he was able to perform only average. But his organizing ability is clear, okay? His power of expression, I have passed him, though his body language was down, his facial expression was not so good and also his voice modulation was lacking and he was speaking rather slowly but I have passed him because I know his power of expression is reasonably okay so I have given him average again. Factor 2, the qualities of heart, these were the qualities of head. Social adaptability, he is average because he is a bit impatient, a bit short tempered, a bit sometimes, you know, tends to be in a hurry and overexcited because of those reasons. So I have given him average, but he's passed. Cooperation, clear. Sense of responsibility, clear. Factor three, initiative, clear. Self confidence, you know, this guy tends to come under pressure. The more pressure you increase, he becomes a bit out of control. Because of this, I have failed him, but with borderline grade means he is just around the border. He can improve a little bit and he can become okay. His confidence is the first quality where he has failed and he is borderline. His speed of decision managed to pass average. Ability to influence the group. See, he couldn't create that kind of impact which I was looking for. So he is again failed in that. He's borderline. Liveliness. This guy actually, all those who know him, will be reasonably lively guy. Though he was very serious here, but he's actually you can ask him his postmates etc. He will be a reasonably lively guy. So I have passed him with average grade. Factor four: determination. He is actually a very dedicated person, very focused person, and very determined person. So I have cleared him. His courage is average as of now. Now, okay, it is average. His physical fitness, though he is physically very fit, but he is overweight. Anybody who is overweight will fail him in SSP. So he is failed in that. He's got borderline. So guys, he gets. 87 marks out of 225. He failed by 3 marks. And in out of 100, see this, I have kept the marking system in a manner. Out of 100, he gets 47 marks. So he's just 3 marks behind 
and I can now see my prediction about this guy. This guy will pass SSB within six months. As I told you. Clap for his success. <laughs> we saw that though as of now he fails, but he is going to pass SSB. Mark my words. यहां 42, 44, 43, 45, 46, 43, 40, 45, 46, 41, 45, 42, 53, 53, this girl had already passed it, yeah, he had 50, 40, 41, 45, 45, 42. So guys, see this. Now you have generally got an idea. You have generally got an idea. And honestly speaking, your marks and my marks will generally tell you if you have honestly given the marks. And I have given him as per the SSB standard. We don't do any bhai here. I don't have to please you and you work hard on your shortcomings and you pass because of your own abilities, which you will do. So exactly I have placed him and this guy would have got exactly this marks. That's what the SSP standard. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Okay. Any doubt, anyone? Don't worry, tomorrow onwards, I'll be taking some of your lectures and let me assure you, and which I have told you, you can ask the old guys here. From this gate, you will never cross till the time I clarify all your doubts. This is my always affirmation, announcement, and I always make sure. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel, SSB Short Short Plus, for exclusive new videos. Also, follow us on Instagram for all the latest updates. Check out a short short guide to crack SSB on Amazon. The link is in the description below.